Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a basic Docker Compose file. This is pretty critical when you're doing development. So we're going to go through um, and just initialize a Docker Compose file here. We're using version 3. Uh, there's multiple versions of Compose, but that doesn't really matter here. We'll add our service definitions. Um, in this case, I'll just call the service Node.js. I'm going to go ahead and add uh, the image. Uh, in this case, we're going to grab the image off of Docker Hub. So if you look, uh, usually the image name is going to be Node, and um, the looks like the current version of Node is 10.15.3. So I'm going to go through and try to find 10.15.3 in here. Having issues? Oh, I think I just saw it right there. I think it's in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and add this um, image. Uh, and what this is telling uh, Docker Compose here is to build... Um, or sorry, pull the image off Docker Hub if it does not exist locally. So Docker Compose run Node.js and we're good to go. Now Bash here will just basically mount the container as if I'm SSH'd into it. Uh, so it's kind of like SSHing into a machine. So this on itself isn't super helpful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna create a, a run me file, just a basic file here. Uh, and I'm gonna create a Docker file. And, and, the, and the objective here is really to um, run this file, this runme.js, inside the uh, Docker container. So I'm going to move the definition here um, basically into the Docker file. I'm going to call the image my node in this case. You don't really have to fill that image out, but I'm going to. Uh, the from is going to be that, that node image that I said before. We're going to run uh, and want to basically create a, a directory here inside the container. Uh, these Docker files are, are basically uh, the manifest that, that will get executed when you're building. So just adding different commands here so that I can basically get everything running. Uh, in this case, I'm copying the runme file into the app directory. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and make sure that when this container runs, by default, it's going to run this runme file. Uh, so into file, we're just going to do something pretty easy. We'll just do a basic console log here. Pretty straightforward if I can spell correctly apologize for this there we go really have an issue spelling today <laughs> okay so if we go back to the terminal and we just run this um, you'll see that it builds here and again I ran it with bash right so that run me files in there and if I run the, the run me.js through node it, ex it now will execute the script now if I just drop the bash it'll just execute uh, but again, if I add the bash to the end, what that's telling Node, or sorry, Docker is to run this container and then execute bash inside of it. So one thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to basically make a change inside the container uh, just to show you what happens. So uh, the changes are not persistent. Uh, so if I make this change here, you're going to see the change go away uh, when I shut the container down. You're also going to see that the change does not actually migrate to the host machine. And why that's important is because if you're doing development, which is, you know, Docker is really powerful development, uh, you're going to want the changes to persist uh, between container saves. And also you're going to want to make sure that whatever changes you make in the container or outside the container automatically get moved through. So to make sure this change uh, uh, goes ahead and persists, uh, we're going to make a change to the Docker Compose file. But uh, what I'm going to show you right now is that, you know, if I make a change on the outside of the container, again, it does not actually show up. So you'll see that change there. So let me set next step, uh, modify Docker Compose here, and we're gonna add a volumes node to this uh, service definition. Uh, and the volumes is basically just indicating a mounting a volume from the outside, so in this case, the current directory, to inside the container at the app directory. So it's pretty straightforward. Now when I run again, you'll see that that volume actually, in fact, mounts up. You can see all of the directory, all of, sorry, all the files here. So Docker, Docker Compose, etc., uh, and everything that we need, and also the changes are now showing up. If I make changes inside the container, we got this console log statement here, just like this. This change actually will also get added to the outside of the container. <clears throat> so you can see it inside. Now, if you look in the file outside the container, then yes, it has also made that change as well. So if I run this, it'll still work. And now you can see that work. Pretty straightforward. So hopefully this was helpful. Uh, and uh, see you in the next video.